Greens of one and great here. Another eight bars. Three replay. I don't know why I kept them trying to say four. Spawn on the right side as the red Italians. We have General Spade. Spawn on the left side as the blue Russians. We have Dunami. I was like, the French will steal the beer of repelts worth 35 coin, you monster. And looks like Red will steal the local doggos then of skunk pelts, you monster. There's actually a number of livestock in the field. Got some sheep you can lead to glory and not to the slaughter, right? And we do have a deck selected for the roost. We do have infinite sheep homestead wagon town militia rancher Ooh, we got a cattle deck economic theory wood coin coin shrelsey uh new order regiments cossacks boyars advanced arsenal coin four ships cavalry combat sylvania falconets fort refrigeration higher pandurers which is a skirmisher from the balkans uh georgian hussars which sounds like this is a hussar actually delivers 17 hussars that's not a native unit and sets them to guard as well huh that's one way to get uh that heavy fortifications that is a fort factory factory and for the italians we got bl rush bl what's bl we got coin advanced politicians who spits? It's just one Boliska wagon. Causes Lombards to trickle in XP while converting investments. Uh, coin investment. A wood coin. Gives a t uh, team of food, wood coin, and uh, experience. So 400 of all resources. Passiviers. Musketeers. Infantry hit points. A broken Lance Company. Croatian Company. Covered wagon. Genoese financiers, which is coin investment, coin, musketeers, falconets, Asperg allies, Albanian company, four Bosniaks, four Stratets, German company, Jaegers and giant grenadiers, Malin arsenal, choose one arsenal, make arsenal technologies 50% cheaper, enables the advanced improvements, that's why it's age three, makes them 50% cheaper, Florentine financiers, coin investment, Papal Bombards, Papal Arsenal, and Factory. Huh, looks like all of his investments are coin. So he's only eyeing for coin investments. Interesting. See. Got, of course, the Architects slowly building away. Looks like Blue had to pause the game. And we've got a... Uh, What's I'm gonna call it? A rancher deck. I am curious about how effective that will be. He, there's of course a lot of uh, hurtables on the map. How many hurtables? Oh, he already has gone for one. And there we go. All 10 spots of the livestock pen is consumed. There's still more hurtables on the map, which you can always fit them up a little bit later. We do now have the Logistican now being researched. Local doggos going down, you monster. You will steal the dog's mercury for 80 coin. They wanted that mercury. Logisican and the governor. Have I caught to talk about the Russian deck yet? Yes, I have. I am just going crazy. Dmitry Wulutov. Definitely a custom name, that one. And Green Parmesan. Or is that Parmesan? Parmes That's not Parmesan, right? That's not how you spell Parmesan. That would be very acceptable to name the uh, Explorer Parmesan. As the Italian. We do not have a barracks going on up by a settler and an outpost wagon as well. So red, maybe I'm for some aggression. 
More villagers being plotted now. Got a shipment of wood. Both players now aged up. Sheep fattening progress and still in progress. Shipment available for the Russian. He has gone for a shipment of coin or is going for a shipment of coin. Not going for anything else at the moment. Maybe economic theory could be useful or anything really. And we don't have any Italian Lombards to float on out just yet. Dimitri's not being hit. We have a handful of musketeers supported by the Italians now. I had to double check the Italian villagers because a lot of times you just see the Italian players not to go past 20 villagers. He has 19. He's not hiding for. Oh, he is building more villagers. I was wondering if the Italians have maximum villagers 20, but that is simply not the case. We do got a number of musketeers here. Oh, I got some sort of Twitch message. Worry about that a little bit later. Dimitri here is all by himself. We do got a shipment of broken lance company. We've given three people lances, one strotted. Able lancer is, of course, a pretty good, not mercenary, heavy cavalry. The Stradits are... Oh, no, they are classified as mercenary. Must be. No, oh, that's a Stradit. We had to click the one that was a mercenary. The Able Lancer here is not a mercenary. And do have slight bonus infantry. All infantry. It's a very heavy Huzzar. Honestly, for an H2 shipment, that only costs what? It was probably a little bit expensive, but that is a very powerful mercenary shipment and quote-unquote hybrid mercenary that Papal Lancers this age. The sun inch health is quite a bit. The Rus may need to get out, need out a good number of musketeers to go for Parshix, which are a halberdier variant, if I remember correctly. He has two block houses here, and we should do bonus efforts as cavalry, but this is pretty heavy cavalry. Papal Lancers do have 30 siege, which is not super high for everything else they are. Strata as well. Strata does, I believe, have the AOE damage resist that aura. Or maybe not. And those Halberdier variants quickly goes down because these guys are very, very high quality. One block house about to go down. We've got now the town militia should be in the field, which will improve the damage of uh, town center. Those just need to get inside. Oh, that one looks like barely like skip into the building. Our church now does block house. And there's Town Militia. Now the Townsend does do 135 damage. She could eye for... No, he needs more coin for Conscription and for Town Militia. And there's the Town Militia. He does have a market here. So he's not in a super great position. The secondary Town Center has been started to put on out. He has one shipment available. Uh, he's already gone for all his No, he can't go for any more shipment stuff. He has no population housing. He has some villagers here. If he can pull out a house, he'd be in a much better position. Can't go for the Pandurs. Another town center is getting hit. If he costs a bit of coin, he can bring in some conscription. Town center is taking a massive amount of fire, but it's almost complete. More musketeers not being blown out. There's conscription. Can't bring any more militia out at the moment. He does get some pillars inside this town center to get its gun firing. He does have a good number of sheep here. These sheep are fully fat, and this is a very powerful food source now. Sheep to collect at a uh, rate of two. Sheep will be quickly consumed, but they provide a good amount of food, that's for sure. 
The paper last but the paper lanterns will go down. The musketeers will get hit whittled down. He may not have enough firepower to deal with the town centers. The town improved town centers will give him quite a bit extra damage. He's now going for a shipment of Porsche X, which is the Halberdier variant. Eleven of them. He's trying to uh, string in more units. Even loses this town center, he still has another town center. The militia coming out will be very useful. He's trying to go for a fort as well. An emergency fort can be torched down. Let's see how well the Halberdiers villagers do get there. There's Halberdiers. Some of the villagers are going to go down. It's a buy him a bit of room to work with. And his opponent's still H2. He has more musketeers in the field. The Halberdiers have 17 damage. Not too great. Musketeers have 13, so they're not too terribly more effective. If they both have 20 melee resist, they also have a lot less health than musketeers as well. They're just here in good numbers. I don't say great in this situation. But they will defend him. We got a number of passive ears, an uh, archaic crossbow. There's a fort wagon, right there is a good spot. Or he's going to pull in a more reserved position. Town Center needs to use the repair ability. Should be able to use the repair ability. We got the house there. That's fine. Oh no, he still needs. He actually does need a house. And all the sheep will have been slaughtered. Villagers falling back. He does see the fort being pulled on the field. Another round of villagers trying to go for some more wood. He has 21 villagers versus 31. He's not going for the Croatian company. Trying to torch down the town center. Does get the militia out. The town center is fully healed at the moment. I didn't realize he used the repair ability. And there's a fort. The fort is going to be very effective. 150 damage per shot. Range damage, not siege damage somehow. But we'll be able to one-shot most of the stuff. And Red's army has failed. He will not be able to push into his bonus town center anytime soon. Though the Italian player is pretty far ahead. He's now going for some gaslighting. You monster. And his long bars are put on the field. Did have a coin shipment. Or no, he mainly deposited some coin. Let's see, Croatian company. Let's see whether it was natives or mercenaries. Looks like natives. No, outlaw. Okay, we've got the Krabbits are an outlaw unit. And over here is a light infantry, cost experience. Only effective versus other light infantry. But it's not classified as a native unit either. You can see here it does do 250% versus light infantry, a slight bonus versus heavy infantry, ramp versus shock, and heavy cav. The militia get annihilated. One health is not a whole lot of health. They're so just falling back to the fort. Got a number of recruits here. But he shouldn't really pose a threat there. He can probably evacuate his villagers on the far side of the fort. He should be just fine. Kravitz have 10 siege damage. Not great. Musketeers have 20 siege damage. is okay. These guys have 12 siege damage. I suppose the fort may be able to torch on the town center, but it's going to be a bit of a cost. And, oh, the, front, the Italian player is also going for some fishing boats now. He's going to keep his opponents on reserve. Got Pikeman here. That will offer some good siege damage situation. Bruce is not buying fault much. Cows. I like cows. I don't think they're good at this moment in time. Announcer receiving massive damage. Gains good damage there. Announcer has taken a beating, that's for sure. Cows have been summoned. Oh, we got a coin here. That is important to collect on up. Towns that are taking massive fire. There's a bike that should be enough to finish off the town center. 
has gone for his militia or conscription. Counselor does go down there. He doesn't have a lot of wood at the moment. He's going for a delivery of falconets. Can I have to be aggressive right now? Militia are not a good aggressive tool. And founding player is getting more boats. He's still H2. Not a bad thing at the moment. Another Lombard being floating out. Looks like Mescon is going to pause. Oh no, he has managed to deposit a bunch of coin. Going for more coin as well. He may want to diverse his uh, investments because it'll, it'll be drained quicker. Because every uh, septum of coin gets turned into one wood per second and one food per second. 1.5 food per second. More fishing boats not being pulled on out. Who's trying to rebuild? Has the town center queued on up? It looks like the explorer is booting that. We throw some villagers to help out. Russians eyeing for some poor shicks. The, the Italian player is maintaining good village production. And now going for H3, going for the bishop, which will allow him to move diagonally a little bit better. But the problem is, his opponent's town center is not diagonally, it is directly to the left. More passives, passiviers, we got more hussars, and more fishing boats. I would say going for no more than 16 fishing boats would be good. Training post here. Number of the poor shicks, support of the one health militia, and falconets. This is a force, but not super scary, in my opinion. If you can just take out the poor shicks, his hussars can cruise on in. Falconets can do some good damage versus infantry. Hussars getting hit by the poor shicks. Two times two damage versus heavy cav or regular cav. Great damage there. All the Hazards do go down. Not Falconets are still good as always. Falconets still just fine. Go for another round of Hazards. H3 is almost complete. Hazards will be deployed out in time. Falconets or Musketeers not pushing me forward. Hazards over on the Falconets. Very, very important. One Falconet does go down. Both Falconets go down. And there goes all the fighting capability of Blue, a majority of it. Now the, the Italian player is going for his own Falconets. And I don't think the Russian player can really stop that. Going for more cows, going for refrigeration. Refrigeration does improve the food collection rate on cows. Crossbows would be picked off there. You can probably eat the mostly fattened cows now. Now they've got some fat. Oh no, just pull that one off individually. Very nice. Takes out those four shicks with their the falconets. We do have another barracks going on up. Currently four lombards in the field. Has quite a bit of food deposit on in.
the round of four strikes to blood on out. The roots is iron for more falconets. Collection boats. I have a seem looks like they seem to upgrade. I think their base collection rate is like 0.5, made it's some whales. But it looks like they're collecting up food at a good rate, that's for sure. Do you know how the Genovese financiers putting out quite a bit of coin in the Lombards? And he has the manly deposit and a large amount of food as well, so he's going to get a good return on his investments. I swear, if I ever start playing the Italians, I am thinking about starting playing the Italians because I only really play the Aztecs because I like the Skull Knights. I have a bias towards Skull Knights. If I do play the Italians, I would definitely set up a macro to maximize the users of the Lombards. Maximize and precisely use the Lombards. We've got three Falconets here versus Pontius two. Better Musketeers. Falconets. More Falcon uh, Musketeers being blown out. The Russian players are high for. Notably increase the melee damage of Cavalry Archers, Strelsey, and Porsix. Porsix, that's probably the big important part there. Now they do 26 siege damage. Falconets getting good follows there. Oh, also getting hit by a bit of sound bugs. Falconets starting to get hit. One of blue Falconets will go down. One of reds goes down. One blue Falconet remains, but everything else is dead for blue. Now everything's dead for blue. He does have some Cossacks here. Not super great at the moment. More passives, more dragoons. More of the Porsche. We got some more of the cows, but they're just a little bit idle here. House does go down. Oh, the Italian player in another town center here. Was not paying attention to that. The Italian player does have 71 villagers, 72, aging up to the Cavalry Marshal, which may get some Fable Lancers, I believe. Falcon has been put up by the Russian, going for Log Flume now. Very far from aging up. The Italian players aren't pushing right forward. Veteran passive ears now being pulled on out. I also have a good number of veteran poor shakes, but that's a halberdier variant. Not super great against most things, in my opinion. They're not a uh, Jaguar Prowl Knights, that's for sure. And before the round of walls there, Falconess pulling a field. If Zabel keeps Falconess, he will do just fine. His villagers are having trouble. The opposing explorer does get the build right there, or recover. And some of the French or the Roos villagers are going down. These villagers not being brought in as well. Age 4 is almost complete. One Falconet remains. Dragoon's going to charge way forward to get some damage onto it. And there's Age 4. Giving a number of Dragoon's. Looks like not Papal Lancers. He does have a decent force there. Can push on forward. And it looks like Blue's going to be knocked out of the game. I'll bring a shipment of the Papal Bombards. A little Bombard variant. Or a little Bombard, I should say. Got a couple of these Cossacks around back. Red's falling back. Has a bit of damage there. Push forward with his forces. Going for the Field Guns research for his Falconets. People bombards now blood on the field. And we got around Schultze. He could eye for the Pandurs, a 
Vulcan Skirmisher. And, oh yeah, he probably should eye for a bit of coin to collect, get those guys to float on the field. This Mass Skirmisher would be very good, barring the cannon. He has 10 shots in the field. It would die very quickly. They're just, uh, unupgraded Schultzy, Schrelutz. And looks like, uh, Blue Backs of Game seeing all the cannon. This is Anne, great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.